Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, if you only had one question to ask somebody in order to figure out how good they are at algorithms and programming and computer science, what question would you ask? So let's get into it. This is in of itself a very tricky question because if I somehow could come up with a magical question that could very accurately give me a good understanding of just how good somebody is at software development or programming in general, I could probably, well, a lot of the code tests would be pretty pointless. But I will give it a bash and I will just give you the sort of question that I can, well, at the, off the top of my head imagine would be, a, it would be at least something that could give me an indicator of how, how good somebody is. So in order to ask the right question here, we basically need to figure out a few things. We need to understand if we need to get out if the person in question has an understanding of, you know, data structures, do they have some type of logical way of thinking and do they have uh, some type of experience uh, understanding how to work with different concepts within programming and capturing all of that in one question is going to be, be a bit tricky. So I'm going to sheet a little bit and I'm going to combine a few code tests or like coding challenges into one thing. I'm going to ask something along the lines, hopefully the question, the person in question would get the, at least the chance to write this because I can probably imagine it would be very hard for you to perfectly explain how to do this. But I suppose I would ask, uh, could you explain to me or show me how you would implement a concurrent stack that works in a multi, like uh, that needs to work in a multi, like a multi-threaded environment, that has the ability, the like the same interfaces as a stack, but it should also have the ability to tell me what this. Uh, it should be a stack of integers, and it should also have the ability to tell me what the sum of the stack is, but at the same uh, and the sum of uh, the middle point in the stack is. And it should ideally be able to tell me that, give me that information in the shortest amount of time. Something along those lines, I suppose. Because the way that this question is structured, it touches on, you know, first and foremost, you need to answer, okay, what is a stack? Second thing is to figure out, okay, what considerations do you need to make uh, when you work with a stack, when you work in a multi-threaded environment? And that in, in of itself talks about asynchronicity and concurrency and all of that good stuff, right? And then finally, something you need to consider is that you also need to figure out how to give me this information, to give me the sum of the stack and the middle, the sum of the middle point, in other words, the first half of the, of the stack. How do you do that in the most efficient manner possible? So as you can imagine, probably I'm cheating a little bit here because I'm basically just combining together a few coding challenges that I know are fairly good at figuring out. I mean, I've faced coding challenges like this and they touch on these different things. And that is exactly what a coding challenge is meant to do. It's meant to test different aspects of your understanding of things within computer science. So to give you some indicator to, to this question and like basically what you need to consider in order to answer this in an effective way, because I mean, this is just me making up a question here. But a stack is just a data structure that has some type of interface where you can pop something or you can push something onto the stack. In other words, you can add an element or you can pop it off that element. So it's just an array of numbers with these two methods that allows you to do this. And the extra permutation or like the extra complexity here is that, okay, you need to be able to do this in a multi-threaded environment. The problem here that you need to face is basically that you need a way to make sure that if two threads are executing, say, the pushing and the popping at the same time, that the pointer within your stack is actually pointing to the right element still. And that is a bit tricky because it basically comes down to understanding how to make something synchronous or how to guarantee that there are no race conditions. And explaining this sort of problem is the sort of thing that I, you know, I would expect somebody to, to, to tell me. Uh, to show an, uh, an understanding of this sort of problem. And then finally, having the ability to know the sum of the stack plus uh, and, the, and the sum of the middle point or the, the middle point of the array. 
and figuring out that information in the shortest amount of, amount of time possible comes down to pretty much logic uh, because figuring that out and doing it in the fast in the most efficient way possible is part of this challenge here that's the way it gets a little bit tricky now the easiest way to do this at least I know, that I know of is to just loop through the array uh, you should be able to do this just once if you use something like a for loop <coughs> and then you use uh, two um, uh, two incrementers basically one incrementer that just increments by one for every element and then one that increments every other time because what that does is basically that by the time the first incrementer hasn't reached the last element the second incrementer will only be halfway through the array which means that it will land on the halfway point now the complexity here is of course if you have an uneven amount of element uh, an even amount of elements because then you need to ask me who posed the question should you consider that to be the middle point or should you combine the that like should it be inclusive or exclusive of the element that is uh, you know the the next element uh, from the middle point that you found those are the sorts of considerations and the sorts of explanations and like thoughts a person should at least in my opinion have uh, when they ask this sort of question so what i want you to take away from this is basically that there is no way to ask some question that will magically tell you how good somebody is at software development and that is why it's so hard to formulate coding tests that accurately estimate a person's ability some companies go for this like uh, you may have heard that google and like uh, the bigger companies have coding challenges very focused very heavily on this the reason why they do this is because they have they have tons and tons and tons and like thousands of people applying for jobs all the time so it's a very efficient way for them to just kind of get people like it's a very cheap way to just exclude or include people very quickly while most co other companies have either this try to copy that sort of thing or they have a combination between this and doing like coding like with coding challenges with tools and understanding of just more holistic software development so yeah that's pretty much it have a great day